Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do Manhattan Circle. Question D from Code Forces Route 952 Division 4. So you're given a N by M grid consisting of dots and hashtags, and there exists a whole Manhattan Circle on the grid. The top left corner of the grid has coordinates 1, 1, and the bottom right corner has coordinates N, N M. And point AB belongs to the Manhattan Circle centered at HK if H minus A, the absolute value of H minus A plus the absolute value of K minus B is less than R, where R is a positive constant. And we can think of R as the radius in this case. And it's the Manhattan distance. So on the grid, the set of points that are part of the Manhattan Circle is marked as a hashtag. And you have to find the coordinates of the center of the circle. So you have you have a grid, and for example, for this one, th this has to be center since it's a one by one. It's a radius. I mean, this is just a singular dot, so that's still the center. So it would be three three. In this case, it's also three three because it's the center, as we can see. And this is mainly an implementation problem. It's there's not really any key observation to do except for the fact that the longest, like for if you go through all the rows, the one with the most, since it's only going to be one Manhattan circle, so the array with the most, or the row with the most, uh, with the most hashtags is guaranteed to have the center point, and the column with the most hashtag is also guaranteed to have the center point. So that's that's how I, I approach this problem. Of course, there's... There's definitely many ways you can do this. Like, for example, you can go through the topmost hashtag point and then go down and find the middle at, or the leftmost. And then there's multiple ways to do it. But my way, I just went through the rows, went through the columns and found the intersection point. So, yeah, I found the so I kept track of row index and column index. And I had a maximum to keep track of the maximum amount of the maximum amount of uh, hashtags I've seen. And then I go through, I keep track of the amount. And if the amount is greater than the maximum, I update the maximum and set the row index to be I. And then I reset max to be zero. And you don't need to do this if you have greater than or equal to here, but I, I still did it, max equals zero. And then loop through for, I, I did J here because then I can still leave it as I, as the first one, J as the second one. But keeping the note that this is J equals zero, J is less than M, and I is equal to zero, I is less than M, N, to keep it the same. And then I keep track of the amount, and if the amount is greater than the max, I update the maximum and update the column index. And a key thing to notice is that well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all of this in zero index, so I'm not doing it in one index, which means that I have to add one because they said the top left point is coordinates one, one, whereas for zero index, it would be zero, zero. So I have to add one to each, both the row index and the column index. And yeah, this is how you do Manhattan circle. Question D from Code Forces around 952 division four. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.